Welcome to the Speedbird shop. Now we've got our 2010 Camaro project in here, getting some upgrades and a facelift. Check out the new flat black. Now we've got the big fenders, big tires and brakes, but look at the business end right up front. A big inch LS motor being driven by two monster Borg Warner turbos. This thing makes over a thousand horsepower to the tire. Now this is a good opportunity to talk about boost systems and turbos. We get a lot of questions about it. So we've got a good layout here on the table. We're gonna walk you through what to look for in your turbo setup. We've got an awesome layout here. This is EFR turbos from Bohr Warner. Now, the first thing you might wanna think about is general sizing, right? So we've got a B1 frame size. These are good for about 200 to 550 horsepower for turbo. So think about two of those, you're making 1100. Now, if you wanna go big boy style, this is the B2 frame size. So it starts at about 400 horsepower goes up to a thousand each. So let's look at the details of the inside because this is where all the hot action is happening right here. Now in my mind, this Gamma Tie Turbine Wheel, that's probably one of the best features on this thing. So not only does it have high temperature resistance, corrosion resistance, but it's about half the inertia of traditional Inconel. So this guy is going to be able to spool up a whole lot faster and in conjunction with the ceramic ball bearing cartridge right here in the center section, you're able to go upsize in turbo to make more power without having that turbo lag. Huge feature. So if we drive to the front here, we got the compressor wheel side. Now this isn't just a billet, it's a forge. And then it's machined, right, with great aerodynamics to get you all that power and boost shoved into your intake side. Now if we come back to the rear here, now let's talk about some of the features that come with an EFR that you don't get in other systems. Stainless steel housings, not cast iron. Again, high temperature capability, thinner wall sections, lighter, less heat inertia. Now these come with internal wastegates. Now oversized for, you know, not just diesel guys, but for gasoline. So you got plenty of blow off here. You can get it with and without the wastegate. And if we go around to the front side, now really cool what's integrated right into here, CRV. It's a compressor recirculation valve. Now think of it as a blow off, right? You close the throttle, you got a ton of boost being built up. You don't want to shove it into that throttle blade so you can bypass it. But this happens in the system instead of blowing it off. Just think about it, if you've got metered air coming through your air filter, you know, into your system, right? If you blow that off, now you've lost control of your air fuel ratios. So a really cool integrated feature right into here. Now you got your solenoid valve to control the wastegate, automatically put on the whole system. So there you go. You got a complete, ready to go, top of the line turbo. Now one of the last things you want to think about when you know, buying your turbo setup is customization, right? We're putting them in all different applications. This guy already comes with a speed sensor boss. Poke the hole through, drop the sensor in, and you're ready to go. Now look at the turbine side. We've got a square port, single entry. We've even got V-band clamp options, right? Or you really want to step it up. Certain applications, twin scroll, separate some of those exhaust pulses, get that ultimate efficiency. Now, if you want to do some clocking, look how easy it is. Loosen up some bolts. You can slide this thing around on either end or drop it off completely, change your A over R in a heartbeat. Now look at the full lineup of turbine wheels and compressor wheels. So combinations with A over R, you can set your car for exactly what you need. Now this is the full top end lineup from EFR. This has got all the bells and whistles on it. But if you want a little bit less content, maybe you've got some different packaging that you want to do, check out the Airworks series. Combined, they cover everything from drag racing, drifting, road racing, anything you need for street hot rods, you name it. So with that, I'm gonna stop talking here and get on the car because I wanna go out and have some fun like the good old days back when she was red.